Right, so this week we're going to set out to answer the question as to how to choose the right channel drain for your project. So I'm Mark Chambers, Marketing Manager here at Drainfast, and I'm joined by Carsten Birch. Well, thanks for joining us. Let's um, have a look at some of the key factors that I'd need to consider if I was choosing a channel drain for a project. So there's three main factors to look at when you're choosing a channel drain. First one would be the loading rating, and secondly the type of grating that you want, and then thirdly the surface error of the error being drained. I see, that makes it quite nice and easy just to look at those factors and help choose the right, the right type, but just help me a bit more. So if I was, for example, having a patio installed at the back of my house, um, what kind of channel drain would you maybe recommend that I take a look at? Yeah, well generally patios aren't don't require anything more than a 100 mil wide channel drain. Patio is somewhere where you don't want to be able to see the channel drain. So a channel with a brick slot grating is excellent for that because all you see on the surface is a 10 to 20 mil slot and the rest of the channel is hidden underneath. I see, that's quite a good idea. So it keeps it quite nice and subtle. Yeah. Yeah, I see. And um, in terms of the loading rating that you're talking about, what rating would you need in a patio? On a patio, you've only got foot footway traffic. so. A15 loading rating, rating is normally fine, so it's just one and a half tons loading duty. Yeah, okay. And if you were going to, if you weren't going to go with the brick slot, maybe cost-wise or something you wanted to look at a more traditional channel grating, is there any recommendations you'd make? Yeah, a standard slotted grating would be fine on a hundred mil wide channel, plastic or light duty metal would be fine. And often you, on a patio, you might want to go for a hill guard slot to prevent any heels from going down the channel. Yeah, I see. So that's like prevents slips and trips and people falling over. Exactly. Slightly safer. Yeah, interesting. And um, okay, then another common area where people install channel is obviously on a driveway. Um, so say we're having a new tarmac driveway done, what kind of channel drain would you recommend there? Yeah, so you'd want to step up to a heavier duty loading rating. So 12 and a half tons, which is B125 loading rating. And if you've got a tarmac drive, you probably just want to go with a black iron grating. I see, so that kind of helps it blend in That's with right. the tarmac. Okay, are there any other kind of gratings? What, what else could I look at if I wasn't doing tarmac, maybe doing um, If it was a gravel driveway, yeah. possibly, you might want a, a galvanised grating. Um, often the galvanised ones are slightly better looking than the standard. I see, so it's quite a personal choice down to what I, I like the look of, really. Exactly that, yeah. It's Interesting. a wise choice. Okay, and then... Yeah, you mentioned about a couple of load ratings there, so you've um, A15 and B125. Do you want to just walk through, are there any other ratings for different, different applications? Yeah. So there's loading ratings for literally every application. It starts at 1.5 tonnes, which is purely footway, up to B125, which is 12.5 tonnes, which would be fine for light vehicular traffic. And you've got 25 tonnes and 40 tonnes, which would be C250 and D400. Fine for, for uh, car parks and roadways. And then after that, you've got E600, 60 tonnes, which is industrial use, so forklifts, etc. And then after that, you've got the 90 tonne loading rating, which is F900, which is for use in very heavy duty areas such as airports. Wow, okay. So that can take a real beating from even right up to like airplanes going yeah, across sure. the top of it. Okay, and do Drainfast stock the full range of all those different ra those ratings? Yes. We do, we've got the full range. I see, brilliant. And um, what, what kind of brand or range of channel drain do um, Drainfast stock? So we stock Ulmer, which is a celebrated alternative to the main brands on the market. Okay, brilliant, and what's, what's good about Ulmer then? It's a very wide choice, it's an excellent value for money, and it's a celebrated alternative, as I've just said, to the main brands on the market. Yeah, I see, so if something else is out of stock or you want to just look at a bit of a different range, you'd recommend maybe having a look at Elmer. Definitely. And that's all in stock, yeah. available next day. Yeah, that's right. Brilliant. How do you find, do you get any good customer feedback on Elmer? Is it generally go down well? Oh yeah, definitely. Very easy to install. Doesn't require any special expertise to be able to install it. And as I just said, it's, as I've said already, it's, there's a wide, wide choice and it's very good value for money. Brilliant. Okay, well thanks very much for your time today. And yeah, while we're on the subject of channels, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.